If you play American style Mahjong during the Charleston, there are moments in time where you might second guess yourself. If this happens to you, try Charleston chain reaction to test your instincts. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you know how to play already and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing. And then click the bell when you do, that way you won't miss anything. Let's do some Charleston chain reaction. Let's say we're the dealer. I'm going to take 14 random tiles. That will mimic the drawn hand. Then I'm going to create what I call a mock Charleston. The mock Charleston is just meant to simulate the passes that you might get from opponents during the Charleston. It's not meant to be like the exact experience that you would have in a real game. Oop, too many. Okay, so we have right across left, left across right. Because I want to recreate this after one attempt, I want to make sure there's no jokers in here. So I'm just going to quickly peek at these and replace any jokers because you don't want those variables in there to mess up the experience. You got to take out as much random possibility as possible. So I'll just mix those up again and then we'll set up the Charleston. There we go. So we have our Charleston with no jokers, and this is going to be a simulation of the drawn hand. So let's see what we can do for this first attempt. So for the first attempt, I think we're in between evens where we have no eight we do have a joker we could leverage or we could play something consecutive with two three twos threes and fours i'm thinking let's start with consecutive i'm going to keep every one two three four anytime i have mixed suits i want to gather a range of four numbers around the multiples. In this case, it would be one, two, three, four, or two, three, four, five. What we're left with though is sixes and nines. And I think passing like numbers is just as risky as passing a pair. So we have to make a decision. Before we do that though, I'm gonna take a photo of this drawn hand because we need to recreate it. So we have to make a decision already. I'm thinking to use all the multiples, we could play two, three, four consecutive. This is the mixed suit option. And the only reason we're picking a hand is because I don't want to risk passing like numbers and we have to make a decision on some of these tiles. So I think we should maybe take out the one and pass one of each suit. That way we're playing defensively while still building our hand. Now, let's take the first pass. I'm gonna take a picture of that because we need to recreate it along the way. We picked up a four and a flower. And we have tiles we can pass. The white dragon, I think, is very valuable. It's just as valuable as a flower, in my opinion. So I'm gonna keep it. I'm thinking that we could maybe, maybe build around it and play like numbers with fours. We could play like numbers with fours and flowers. Use this as joker bait. Or even break it up right now because look what we're left with to pass. Three, six, nine. That's a whole category. I think I would break it up now and opt to pass defensively. Next pass. Let's take a photo of that. Now that we gave up the two dot, look what came in. 
the three crack. So I really want to leverage these flowers. Maybe we could even play Lucky 13. We need a nine bam and a one bam. Let's keep these for an option and we can pass these three. That's actually, I think, the best pass you can do. An even and an odd in two suits with a wind. Let's take a photo of that. So we have a one and a three. We do have something consecutive here, three, four, maybe we could play the three, four pair hand. And we do have tiles we can pass. That's a bit risky though, because this would fit right into the biggest hand on the card, the year hand under singles and pairs. I think I would break that up. Maybe even pass those three. Maybe even give up on the three and break that up even more. Let's focus on like numbers and pass defensively. Take a photo of that. This one gave us tiles to pass. Let's break this up and pass these three. Two different suits with a wind. Although, maybe we could still make Lucky 13 work. Let's pass these three. It's a little risky passing north and south together with an odd for 2017 because there's a hand that uses those tiles. Let's see what happens. Let's take a photo of that. There's that two dot we gave up, or another one. So a pung would have come in if we had stuck with that. Now we could play one, two, three, four. At this point, let's go ahead and give up on the four crack. We could play lucky 13. Or we could play one, two, three, four if we get the two dots back. Let's discard these three. And we have tiles we can pass. I'm gonna take a photo of that. So let's pass three. We got sixes. Oh, and we got a two back. So I think what I would probably do here, let's see. If we had a green dragon, we could play the consecutive hand with the green. That would be the third hand from the bottom under consecutive run. The other option might be the consecutive hand where we're right back where we started from with the three crack. Either way, we did not need any of these. So I'd say we probably have six discards with that decision making. Six discards. So let's reset this and see if there was a better option. Six discards for something consecutive. I think I would like to see if either Lucky 13 or Like Numbers was a better choice. I'm thinking Like Numbers. Let's just see what happens here. So I'm going to re reset this. This is what we started with. I'm going to set up the Charleston now.
Okay, here we go. Let's reassess. I think the two, three, four was also a really good opportunity. Like numbers or consecutive with two, three, four. In which case, I think I'll keep the three because we could do one, two, three, four. Okay, let's get rid of these three, one of each suit. There's a flower and a four. This I think is when I started thinking about lucky 13, which is still a good possibility. We could use these as joker bait. I do not want to pass that white dragon. Four flowers. We need to leverage these flowers. We have a gap with lucky 13, a gap with consecutive with no three crack. The two, three, four in mixed suits only uses two flowers. Let's break this up and stick with either like numbers or lucky 13. That way we can leverage all the flowers. Let's pass these three. Three crack since we gave up that two. That's exactly what happened before. Now we could do three, four, or four, five with greens. Let's pass these three. There's a red and a seven. I don't think any of that is going to be helpful. Let's discard those. That is risky though, but I'm thinking we could maybe make it a little better by taking out that seven. We still have a three, four with the green dragon possibility there. There's a north, south one. Let's break that up and pass these three. There's that two back and an eight dot. We're still having some opportunity with like numbers or lucky 13. Let's pass these three. Even in an odd, even though it's one suit, they're so far apart, it's not going to be too risky. Five, six, eight. Optional cross, one of each suit. Two, eight, nine, south. We could keep the nine and swap out with a three dot and a one dot if we were to get it. I would hold that. I would say we're in between lucky 13 and like numbers. The like numbers, we'd have to give up a flower. So I think I would focus on lucky 13. So I would probably give up on those. That way we can leverage these flowers. So we have five discards. So really this option was only one tile better. I believe either result was decent it could have been better. Four discards after the Charleston is ideal. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try and see if you can get to four discards with your decision making. Although, be sure that your options are not too broad because you can't keep everything. If you end up with four discards in one category or even one hand, that is ideal. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing and click the bell when you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos. 
You won't miss any opportunities to learn a new strategy or maybe gain an insight into the game that might give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston chain reaction for American style, may all your picks be keepers.